السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ریسپیکٹڈ ویورس ویلکم ٹو رمضان کوئز کھاد الحمد للہ ٹوڈے وی ہیو این ادر ایپیسوڈ وتھ تھری جینیس فرام مائلین مظاہر العلوم دا اسلامی کوئز شو الحمد للہ ٹوڈیز شو In this auspicious month, in the month of Quran, in the month of Ramadan, we'll give you some beautiful information about Quran and Ramadan, and we will find all this information from our three very intelligent contestants. And let's, let's begin with our contestants and introduce our contestants with you uh, and let's see who's the first. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm Muaz. MashaAllah. Muaz, welcome to the show. And the next? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is Mu'atasim. MashaAllah, Mu'atasim. Welcome to our show. Thank you. MashaAllah. Jazakallah khair and? What, who will we have? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Umar. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome all three of you, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, respected viewers. These three contestants are here today. We are going to ask them some questions. They will answer. And whether they are their answer is right or wrong, we have an honorable judge with us today, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Saleh, Chairman, Al Huda Academy, London. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine today. MashaAllah, mashaAllah. Uh, nice to have you here, Sheikh. Excellent, and I'm feeling nice as well. MashaAllah, mashaAllah. Uh, respected viewers, This show, Islamic quiz show, learning and teaching Islam and spread the message of Islam throughout the world, throughout the Muslim community especially. This is Iqra Bangla's brand new show. I hope you'll enjoy this program and you'll enjoy the show, inshallah. Uh, dear contestants, Every one of you are confident, inshallah, inshallah. But we have some rules and regulations to follow. Okay. The rules are, every one of you will be asked five questions, right? When I finish the question, you'll answer. You'll have 10 seconds to think about. Within the 10 seconds, if you do not make a move, then obviously the question will be gone from you, right? But if you make an attempt within the 10 seconds, we will wait for you to finish your answer. And <clears throat> that's number one. Number two, if you give the correct answer, your score will be five. Five points you'll get. And with the wrong answer, no points. And end of the show, whoever will score the highest will be the winner. And he'll go to final. Is that okay? Simple and easy. Inshallah. Are you ready? Mashallah. Uh, respected viewers, all our contestants are ready. Uh, respected judge, shall we start? Inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah, we will start. Inshallah, we have first contestant right next to me is Muaz Hassan. Muaz Hassan, can I ask you the first question? Yes. Inshallah, you ready? Mashallah. The first question is to you. 
Mr. Jamil is an old person. He cannot fast. Can he ask a poor person to fast on his behalf? No. So your answer is? No. No. Positive? Yes, positive. OK. Whether your answer is right or wrong, can we go to the judge? What do you think, judge? Yes, I can say congratulations to you. Fantastic, yeah, mashallah. That's right. First, has first question that we ask our contestant, and he gave correct answer, alhamdulillah. We will go to Murtasim for his first question. Murtasim, are you ready? Yes. You think? Yes, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. Let me ask you the first question. Okay. The first question to you, how many surahs are there in the Quran? 114. 114. Ustad, is he right? Yes, you are correct. And congratulations to you. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Fantastic. Alhamdulillah. Congratulations. Uh, Murtasim, our honorable judge said your answer was? Right, Alhamdulillah. So, Murtasim get five. And before we ask the Muaz, Muaz also was right, so he also gets five. Both of you are equal. So, let's go to the third contestant, Umar Zaman. Are you ready, Umar Zaman? Inshallah. Inshallah, Inshallah. Umar, question. To you, at the end of Surah Fatiha, right? At the end of Surah Fatiha, when we say, غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الضَّالِّينَ Then we say, Amin. The question is, is Amin the part of Quran? Amin isn't the part of the Quran. You sure? Yes. You don't want to change your mind? No, it's part of the Quran. Oh, mashallah, he is confident. He is saying, Amin is not the part of the Quran. Sheikh, we will go to our honorable judge. Let's see what judge has to say. Yes, uh, finally, I can say congratulations to Umar as well. Your answer is right. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Umar answer, Umar's answer was right. Amin yes. is not the part of Quran. So, end of the first, for, from every contestants, we ask every one of them one one questions. So, Alhamdulillah, Umar five, and Murtasim five, and of course, Muaz also five. Five, five, five. Very hard. Everybody is answering correctly. Shall we go to a second question from Muaz? Muaz, ready? Inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. You're not helping him? Okay, mashallah. Uh, Muaz, second question to you is, what does the word Quran mean? To read. To read. Okay. To uh, recite. To be recited. To be recited. Okay. Uh, you think it is the right answer? Inshallah. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. But we have to go to our judge. Judge. Yes, uh, uh, I can take this answer, but just uh, you have to remember this answer will be the, the most recited, most recited is the Quran. You just reach the you know, main answer, it's reciting, that's why I can take his answer. Yes, congratulations. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, well done, Alhamdulillah. Muaz was right. The Quran that we recite every day repeatedly, repeatedly, over and over again. It means 
to read or recitation over and over more frequently. Alhamdulillah. Lots of us, in fact, we don't know what does Quran mean. But Alhamdulillah, Muaz, he knows. They are the little stars. MashaAllah. We will go to the next question to Mu'tasim. Mu'tasim, ready? Yes. Inshallah. Mu'tasim, second question to you is, what is i'tikaf? When you first, when you stay in the mosque in the last 10 days of Ramadan to worship Allah and to only like pray to Allah during the last 10 days of Ramadan and you try your best not to talk about worldly affairs or not to like talk about anything, you just try to focus and you worship with Allah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, but I'm not sure whether your answer was right or wrong, but we have to go to our honorable judge. And let's see what our judge has to say. Yeah, I can say congratulations to you. Your answer is right. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Itikaf. Itikaf means to stay in the mosque, in the mosque for the last 10 days of Ramadan. That's very good answer. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Ah, respected viewers, we will go to the third contestant with his Second question, Umar. Second question to you is, you ready? Inshallah. Is it far, wajib, or sunnah to break fast with dates? It's sunnah. It is sunnah, I'm sure. You sure? Yes. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, we can't take it on board. We have to ask our judge. Respect your judge. Is it breaking fast with the dates you said? Sunnah. Sunnah, yes. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So, mashallah, every, everybody, all three contestants, they have 10, 10, 10 each, mashallah. The third question goes to Muaz Hassan. Muaz. Yes. Alhamdulillah, I can see you are confident, but let me tell you the question. The question is to you, how much reward would you get if you perform Umrah in the month of Ramadan? It is like the, you gain the reward of Hajj. Mm -hmm. You'll get the reward of Hajj. Okay. You don't want to change your mind? No. Okay. Let's go to our judge. Let's see what judge has to say. Judge. Yes, I can say yes. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. First class, mashallah, mashallah. Judge has accepted his answer. If you perform Umrah in the month of Ramadan, you'll get the reward of performing Hajj. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Mu'tasim, ready? Yes, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. So, Mu'tasim, third question to you. Does gargling more than necessary break the fast? No. As long as you don't swallow it, it won't break you fast. Ustad. What's your answer? As, as lo no, but if, if you like accidentally drink it, then it breaks you fast. Yeah. His yes, answer? He, he yes. gave you a correct answer? Yeah, he can. Alhamdulillah, yeah. alhamdulillah. Yes. The question was, respected viewers, the question was, does gargling more than necessary break the fast? May, some of us, maybe we think that maybe it will break your fast. In fact, he said, no, it doesn't break your fast. Alhamdulillah. He was right. And our judge said he was right. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, you all are doing very good. Every one of you. Oh, MashaAllah, Umar. Ready? Inshallah. Inshallah, Inshallah, Umar. Third question to you. 
which one is the longest surah of the Quran? Surah Al-Baqarah. Surah Al-Baqarah. Is Surah Al-Baqarah longest surah yes. of the Quran? Yes, it is. Is it? Yes. I'm okay. Sure. Let's find out from our judge. Respect the judge. Is he right? Yes, I can say yes. Yes. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. Mashallah. Wonderful. So, end of these three questions. Every one of them has the equal scores. Muaz 15, and then Mu'tasim 15, and Umar Zaman is 15. Now, I'm going to ask you all different type of questions, right? If you don't know the answer, then we'll go to the second person, right? If second person doesn't know the answer, we'll go to the third person, right? Okay, so, Mu'az. Little bit hard question, not that hard, but I think you can. You can give the correct answer. The question is to you, what was the last surah revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? In Revelation. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. So two of you, do you know any one of you? I'll, yeah, you have, you'll have the chance. Any one of you, whoever you know the answer, raise your hand and you can. Mashallah, okay. Let's go to Murtasim first. Surah An Nasr. Surah An Nasr. Okay. Uh, Ustad, is it Surah An Nasr was the last surah of the Quran to be revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Yes, uh, I can take the answer. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. So, Murtasim will have five. Mashallah. Okay, Murtasim. The question for you is, which surah of the Quran will protect its regular reciter from the punishment of the grave? Surah Mulk. Surah Mulk. Ustad, we have to get information from you. Yes, I can say congratulations to you. Alhamdulillah. Right. Alhamdulillah. Right, so we will go to Next question to Umar. Umar, in which Islamic year did fasting become compulsory? Islamic year. Hmm? Two years after Hijra, I'm sure. Two years of the Hijra. After Hijra. After Hijra. Ustad, is he right? Are you mean, do you mean the second year? Of the Hijra. Yes. 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 This is second Hijra. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. Congratulations to you, Umar. Final question to Muaz. Muaz. In Ramadan, in Ramadan, a person is traveling from London to Birmingham. Is it compulsory for him? To still fast? No. Okay, let's go to our judge. Yes, you're right. Alhamdulillah, yeah, alhamdulillah. He's traveling to Birmingham from London. He's a traveler and Musafir, and Musafir doesn't have to pay uh, uh, fast. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. So you are correct. The next question goes to Murtasim Kausar. Murtasim. Question is to you, how much is the kafara for deliberately breaking a fast? Pause. Okay. okay. Do any one of you know the answer? Which one should you take, Ustad? Yeah. Okay, Omar? I think the kafara is either one 
like you give on one day 60 people 60 poor people food or you give 60 days worth of food to a poor to one poor person Ustad? yes that's the right answer that's the right yeah. answer alhamdulillah alhamdulillah yes alhamdulillah okay so the final question to umar umar the verse in the quran the verse read in the name of allah who created in which surah is this verse mentioned can you repeat the verse the verse in the quran the english translation is read in the name of allah who created in which surah is this verse mentioned i don't know he doesn't know that so who should we ask i didn't know this who raised the hand you can uh, i think muaz he raised the hand first surah alaq he said surah alaq can you say that in a verse in arabic iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq khalaq al congregation yeah. thank you alhamdulillah alhamdulillah end of the show we have to see who came out fast who is the highest score winner so we can see so ustad who's the winner uh our customer who said both uh, muaz and mutasim as the same uh no yeah you mean mu'tasim and umar yeah. mu'tasim and umar are equal points and muaz because he couldn't answer the his his the, last one. the, the first question that was he what was the last surah revealed so unfortunately je yeah. so the umar 25 and Mu'tasim also 25 25 25 we have so we have to go for a buzz around now okay buzz around whoever raises the hand first he'll answer so between two of you we will ask the question and the koi question is Why do the dates of Ramadan change every year? Amar. Because the Islamic year is shorter than the um, normal year like the English year. Ustad is he right? Second answer. This is because the Islamic year is shorter than the year like we have in this country. Okay. Can we take his answer? I can take. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> alhamdulillah, mashallah. That was the great answer. Mashallah. So today's winner will be Umar. Alhamdulillah because he raised his hand and he was right. Respected viewers, alhamdulillah. That was the end of the show, mashallah. Before we conclude, let's get some feedback. from our contestant how do you feel muaz alhamdulillah 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 but there should be some would be some winner some loser but it was great to uh, you to be here and and mu'tasim alhamdulillah it was good alhamdulillah mashallah mashallah and umar alhamdulillah it was great to participate mashallah mashallah congratulations to all of you mashallah uh, we will go to our honorable judge the end of the question round and our honorable judge what do you think at the end who got the highest score yes we have three contestants here the moaz and mutasim and umar and uh, in the first round the umar unfortunately he missed one answer so 
he got total 20 numbers out of the five questions. Okay. We have mo two, the Moaz and Mothersim. They both uh, in a score 25 and 25. Both so the equal same. numbers. Uh, equal. So we have to go to the next round for the buzz round. But and we will see the, now the competition between two between of them. Two of you. You have to be more alert. We will be raise your hand first. You will be given the chance to answer. Okay. So, Muratasim and Muaz, you ready? Inshallah. The question for the buzz around is, does donating blood break the fast? What is that? Uh, that was, the, uh, Muaz, he raised his hand first. Okay. So what's your answer? No. Donating blood does not break the fast. Yes, I can say congratulations. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. You will give the right answer. MashaAllah. So today's winner will be Muaz Hassan. Yeah. Congratulations to you, Muaz. How do you feel? I feel good, Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Muratasim, yeah, it was wonderful that you came, joined the program. Omar? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Uh, that was a very nice program, MashaAllah. Uh, Ustad, what's your take on? Yes, I can say for both of you and, and generally for all of you that, you know, that I think that I find the buzz around, around answer, you both of you, you know the answer, I think, but there is, you know, very focusing point is how much your attention was there. Then, the, you know, in a few, less than one second, you missed the, your train when you raise the, your hand. So in the, in the next time, next time, everywhere in the life, in the study, in the, your doing work, anything, and attempt on time, and very promptly. That's very important. What is needed. Inshallah. Okay? Jazakallah khair. That's, that's the winning, winning yes. uh, secret. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, mashallah. That was nice program, mashallah. Uh, respected viewers, in fact, you know, this question that we ask then, lots of, our, lots of us, we don't know the answers. But look, these little stars, they know the answer. I hope every one of us, we will study, we will get to know the Quran and the Ramadan properly and nicely and deep in religion. MashaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give every, everybody tawfiq, inshallah. And that was the end of the show today, mashallah. And um, our winner today is Muaz Hassan. He'll go to final. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.